Well, what word of the Emperor? Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stay true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Maybe I'll make the potage les magnifiques, hmm? But not the way you make it. <laughs> no, certainly not. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. But I digress. Here's your payment. Go on now. Still here. I'll teach you how to use it effectively, and keep you quick on your feet. It is done. Emperor Titus Mede II lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with the dishonored scald at the Bard's College in solitude. Accept his gold, then eliminate the target. So begins a contract. In Always a pleasure, boss. What can I do for you? The Dawn Star Sanctuary? Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what, it'll cost you. A lot. But I can help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? Banners, huh? Try to pretty the place up. All right, you got it. Of course you do. 
Yeah, that will come in handy. An alchemy station. Maybe a little garden with some choice plants. All right, consider it done. Need a few spare scepters? Always a pleasure, boss. Right what can I do for you? Of course you do. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel, then inside. You'll be in or out, quick as a coney. I have work if you've got the backbone. Of course you do. Aha. Uh -huh. Now that's the dark brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure. No one was it matter. Right. I'll see that it gets done. I have work if you've got the backbone. Bloody good timing. Just got some more clients. Can I give you a little tip? Take every job you can get, or else you'll end up a beggar. All right, what's your fancy? <laughs> Chamber, fit for a king and all that. Right, no problem. Give you a big bed, decorate a room real nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra baubles. Always a pleasure, boss. Look, I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And, uh, good luck with your... murders. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one... Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Now, if you'll excuse me. Something I can help with, or do you just want to talk? Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? They're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, they rift. <laughs> May the gods watch over your battles, friend. And why would the person who writes it? Any time, friend. So you're the one from the... Dark Brotherhood? I need you to kill the big laborer at Catalyst Farm. Here's the gold for the kill. Make it painful. Your early rendition tomorrow, understand? Oh, thank you. I've been working on an original piece. I hope it can stand up to the classics.
Can I help you? Would it kill you to let a man go about his business in peace? Really, the nerve. Could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Good day. By the order of the Yarl, stop right there. I can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. What do you say? Done. Now move along before you get me in trouble. follow you till I'm dust in the breeze. You do realize that.
good pieces out here, the finest weapons in armor. Don't forget to check inside the shop if need anything. Welcome to War Maidens. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Good doing business with you. What are you looking at? I'm 
I'm not afraid of you, you know. Eep. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're... Everything's for sale, my... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Got a lot of steel to shake. Gods be praised. Come to Dragon's Reach. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books and my spells.
here so I'll go easy what's a milk drinker like you doing out here go home to your mother why what are you gonna do cry I don't have to take that from you I never that should have come here Downstairs. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy.
So that's your plan, huh? Even if you could survive by the time you got inside, whatever documents they had would be long gone. We're there for information, remember? Trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. My way is better. The Thalmor ambassador, Ellenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Sounds good. Be careful. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take... given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Go to the party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that.
I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? This is no time for cold feet. I put everything in your hands here, not least Melbourne's life. Now do whatever it is you need to do, and let's get going before we miss our chance.
I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you. Just make sure you get back out of there. Good luck. on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please, first. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, ma'am. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. Guests are advised to remain inside the embassy. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, find myself. Go right on in. The party has already started. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elenwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? It's been a brutal winter. I can't remember the last time it was... Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... To Skyrim. Well, I did what is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Of course. Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Dragons on the loose and a war. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll... Yes? What do you need? Forward to the day when this rebellion is put down. All right, then. Once again, have peace. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ellen Wen always throws quite I'm a party. I'm ready for this party to be over. Help it. Ill luck. I'm a busy man, and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time... I don't dare refuse an invitation from Elenwyn. Is my star? Goodbye, then. I don't Please recall please. seeing you Here at one you of these so. before. And I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. And this war has taken a toll on the merchants of Skyrim. Let's hope Have you learned nothing about me? Sake. I have dealings I with everyone. Have myself. Now leave me. It's been some time I don't want to arouse suspicion by talking to someone who clearly doesn't what belong here. Heard? Don't mention the guild. Well, in fact, it's better if you don't speak to me at all. This is not ago. the place. There were several Khajiit camped outside Until the walls of White Run. Time. These parties, it seems they've it's been good practice. The Most now, here's a face I did not expect to see. Be mindful of how you walk like among adders. On the loose and a war going on? Fair faces is and fine food, food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. And thank you for asking. There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. My ears are always open to a friend's request. Nothing would please me more. I'll keep their eyes away while you do what you came here for. An old 
woman can get away with almost anything. No harm is meant to you, happy fool. Right here. I see it in your face. The snakes writhe behind your eyes. Get away! Get away from me! Hmm? Did you say snakes? Where? I hate them. Be gone, They're slithering sir. the way they do. Be gone what? From this Are they on me? And trouble it no more. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Beware, O oh people of Skyrim. Razna. And you promise to behave yourself this time. Remove him. He's disturbing the other guests. I protest. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. There's no harm in him. Please, let him go. Absolutely not! Who comes, I Malvo? protest! Uh, you know I don't like yes, strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Did you Good see luck. those robes marching You're on your own now. Were they with? More of the Emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky, and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. I'd like to see those arrogant. Bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. Never should have come. <laughs> Our rounds. 